G'day all, Chris Lawn here from National Operations Network, your security solution specialist. Today I'm gonna to show you how to view playback and export playback on your Hikvision NVR system. First you are faced with your main live view screen. From here we need to access the main menu. You can do this by right click with your mouse. Next is the login screen. Here you will need to enter your valid credentials such as your password to match your appropriate username. Once you've entered these details, simply press login. Once you log in, you need to find the playback option. In this menu, this is located up the top, second from the left hand side. Once this is selected, you'll be faced with the playback screen. First you need to select the desired camera or multiple cameras you would like to view the recording for on the left hand side. If you would like to play multiple cameras, you will need to ensure this is set to normal not smart. Once you have selected the desired camera or cameras, then select the date you wish to view playback. This can be done by double clicking the date. For this instance, we are looking for the specific date on the 24th. From here, below we have the timeline. The timeline can be changed over in this section here, currently set to five minutes from left hand to right hand of the timeline. We can simply change this by using any one of the selected dots on this slide bar. At the bottom in the timeline, you'll notice there's two colors, red and blue. Red indicates there's an alarm, such as motion detection or an alarm input, and blue stands for normal. To move the playback time, we can currently see we're sitting at around midnight. We simply grab the timeline and slide it to the desired location. For this instance, we are looking for around 1400. So we are going to slide our time bar right across to around that time. To help us hone in on a specific time, we're going to now bring the timeline back to a 10 minute interval to be able to locate the 1400 mark. So here is the specific incident we would like to capture. So we know this occurred from 1401. And if we slide that along to move it forward, we can see that stopped at around 1403. These are the times that we would like to extract. To make that extraction and put it onto a USB, we're going to simply select the clip button down the bottom here. And we're going to select clip time. Here we have our start time and our end time. We have our date of the 24th selected. We have 1400 and we're going to export to 1405. That's okay, that'll achieve what we need. So we're going to select export. This has now showed us from our USB that we have inserted into the recording unit. This is the files that we currently have. We can expand this name section we can also add a new folder, which we're going to do, and we're going to call this trial. Once we select that folder, we're going to press OK. You will notice now at the top, under this backup, it's a blue. If we select that, this shows us the percentage status of the extraction of those files. You can now see that everything is complete. There's no remaining time to be done. There's no remaining size of files to be extracted. So our playback export is complete. Thanks for watching our tutorial. We hope this was helpful. For further information, please visit our website or give us a call.